Hey, in this video, I will tell you how you upload your Django project on Digital Ocean. You can check step by step tutorial by this link. You can get this link from the description. Just go to the description box and click on the link. In the previous video, I already discussed how you can deploy the Django on Digital Ocean, but but in this video, I will tell you how deploy your Django project on Digital Ocean. So you have to just follow these all steps. Okay. So just go to the website. You can get the link from the description. Just check it. So at first, sign up in Digital Ocean and create a droplet. So now you have to choose one to distribution and just choose a plan five dollar per month and choose a data center. So just type a password for the root access. Remember this password and don't tell this password to anyone. For this tutorial, I will show this password. So the password is B L E A R N B L A R N one two three B T. Okay. So now. Choose a host name. So enter any name. So just type Django project. Create a droplet. Okay. So you have to follow these all steps. Now droplet has created. Here is the IP address. So just click on triple dot and go to access console. Okay. Now. Log in with root and just enter the password of the root. So, log in with root and enter the password for the root. B L E A R N B L A R N one two three B T. Okay. So you have to allow the open SSH at first. So just at first you have to type U F W enable. I have discussed this all codes in the previous video, so please watch the previous video. So just type UFW enable at first. UFW E N A B L E enable. Now firewall is active. So now just type UFW open SSH. Now rule added for the open SSH. You can check it by UFW status. Okay. So now close the console and now open CMD or terminal from your computer. Okay. So just type SSH root at the rate than IP address. So just type SSH and root. Then add it and then IP address. What is your IP address? This just copy it and paste here. Now type yes. And now type the password of the root. So B L E A R N B L A R N one two three and B T. Okay. So I just clear the console. So now you have to follow some steps for Python 3 latest version. Just type sudo apt get update at first. Now hit enter. Wait some times. Okay. So now you have to install the Python 3 Apache 2 lib Apache 2 mod wsgipy3. So just Type this command: sudo apt-get install python3 pip apache2 lib apache2 mod wsgipy3. So just copy it and paste here. Type y and wait some times. So all of this installed successfully. So now you have to install the virtual environment for the python3. So just copy this sudo pip3 install virtual environment and now paste here and hit enter. Okay, so now create a directory for the project. So just go to root at first. This is the root directory. 
here I add a directory my project so just type mkdir and type mypropt my project you can type any name so just hit enter and then type ls ok here is my project now go to my project cd my project and then you have to create a python environment for your project so just type virtual environment and the name of the python environment so the name of the python environment is project env ok hit enter ok then type ls here is project env now activate it so you have to activate your python environment so just copy it and paste here and you can type source then your project environment name then type bin then type activate and hit enter ok you are inside your environment so now install the django so just type pip install django ok wait some time ok so now you have to upload your django project so just open the file zilla you can download file zilla from google so just open file zilla and now enter the ip address so just copy the ip address and paste here and now enter the username username is root and the password is b l e r n b l n 123b t and port is 22 just click on quick connect ok so now go to the root directory at first and go to the my project here is my project inside the my so inside my project here is project environment for your django project now here you have to upload your django project so this is my django project storybook just drag and drop here and wait sometimes so django project has been uploaded successfully i just rename this project story underscore book ok so now you have to edit the settings.py file you have to allow host and then set the static url and the static root so just go to the storybook project or go to the django project and now edit the settings.py so just right click and edit this you can edit this by your own text editor so now at first you have to add the host so just copy the IP address and paste here now and you have to set the static URL and the static root so just copy this and paste here ok so now save it and close it now open filezilla and now click on yes ok upload it successfully so now and you can make migration for your database and create a super user i just skip this step but you have to migrate your database so just copy it and go to the dir of manage.py at first so just type cd storybook and this is the dir of manage.py so here type python manage.py migrate ok so no module name tag it yes so you have to install the tag it because I use the Django tag it in the project. So just type pip install Django T A G G I tag it. Okay. So now type python manage.py migrate. Okay. So now 
you have to type python manage.py calic static so just type python manage.py calic static hit enter and type yes okay so now you have to allow the 8000 port so just type sudo ufw allow 8000 and you can run it by 8000 port so just type manage.py run server 0.0.0 colon 8000 ok so now copy the IP address open the browser and paste it and just type the port 8000 ok Django has successful working but I want run the Django project by Apache to server ok so now you have to edit this 000 default file inside the apache2 folder and then this file is inside the sites available so at first you have to deactivate the your environment so just deactivate your environment at first now go to the root directory cd slash this is the root directory and copy this path and just type cd and paste it and type ls here is 000 default.con ok so now open filezilla at first go to root directory and go to etc and go to apache2 now go to sites available here is 000 default file so now edit it ok so at first you have to comment out the document root so just comment out it and now copy this actually you have to set your static directory wsgui file directory and the python home directory means the environment and the python path means manage.py directory so just copy it and paste here ok so at first you have to set your static dir so just at first go to root and cd my project type ls cd and go to cd storybook type ls here is the static file and this is the static dir so just copy it and paste here ok so now paste here also ok so now you have to set the directory of wsgipy file so just go to cd project and type ls here is wsgi.py file so just copy this directory and paste here ok now you have to set the python home directory it means directory of python environment so type ls and go back one step and type ls this is the directory of manage.py and just go back one step and type ls this is the python environment so just type cd python environment name and hit enter and this is the python environment so just copy this and paste here ok so now you have to set the python path means dir of manage.py directory of manage.py so just type ls and go back one step and go to storybook cd storybook this is the django project and type ls this is the dir of manage.py so just copy it and paste here ok 
and also you have to set the WSGUI file path. So here is the WSGUI file path. So just copy it and paste here. Okay. Now save it and cross. So just open FileZilla and click on yes. Okay. Transfer successfully. So now you have to allow the Apache fool and you have to change the permission for your database file and your project file. So just just type chmod 664 and your database file. So just copy it. So just type ls. This is the directory of database file and just paste it and type db sqlite 3. Okay and hit enter ok so now also copy this and paste here I am already in the directory of database file so just remove it and hit enter ok so now type sudo ufw allow apache fool this is mandatory so just hit enter, copy and paste this sudo ufw allow apache fool and then hit enter. Ok, so now you can check syntax error by this command. I just skip it and now you have to restart the apache server by this command. You can use any of these. So just I type here sudo service. Apache 2 and then type restart. Ok. So just open the browser and just copy the IP address and paste here. Ok. So the Apache server is successfully running. So our Django project uploaded successfully on Digital Ocean. And you can check the tutorial step by step. Just click on the link. You can get the link from the description and just follow the steps. Okay. So thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel.